Hi! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make interactive ebooks with Google Slides. Google Slides is a versatile tool that can be used to create interactive ebooks complete with clickable links, embedded media, and customizable layouts. Whether you are creating educational content, a portfolio, or a creative storytelling project, Google Slides offers the flexibility to design and share your interactive ebook easily. Follow this step by step guide to create your own interactive ebook using Google Slides. First, set up your ebook by creating a new slide deck. Click on the blank to start a new presentation and give your presentation a name by clicking on Untitled Presentation at the top left of the slide. If you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other nerds like us. Then adjust the slide size because ebooks often have a portrait orientation. To do this, just click on File, Page Setup, select Custom, and set the dimensions. 8.5 by 11 inches is the standard letter size. Then design the cover page by creating a title slide. Use the first slide as your ebook cover. Include the title, author name, and any relevant images or designs that represent the theme of your book. Right click on the slide and select change background to choose a background. You can choose a solid color, gradient, or upload an image as your cover background. Also, you can add decorative elements. Just use insert, shape, or image to add decorative elements like borders or icons to enhance the visual appeal of your cover page. Next, you have to plan the structure of your ebook by outlining the chapters or sections. Plan the structure of your ebook by outlining the chapters or sections, and each chapter can be a separate slide or a group of slides. For each chapter or section, create a title slide to introduce the content. Just use consistent formatting for all section titles to maintain a cohesive look. Also, you should not forget to create a table of contents. Add a slide after the cover page to serve as a table of contents and list the chapters or sections with corresponding slide numbers. You can later hyperlink this to the respective slides. Then after all those things, you can add interactive elements by inserting hyperlinks. Just make sure your ebook interactive by adding hyperlinks. Highlight text or objects, click on insert and then link, and link to other slides, external websites, or resources. That's it! Hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this. See you again next time.